<coughs> Good evening and welcome to our October Township Supervisors meeting. This time I'll call the meeting to order. Our first the, uh, Sorry. Stand and pledge the flag. Okay, this time we'll have uh, our public comment session. I know, uh, I suspect some of you may be here in regards to um, the guests that will have speak after the public comment session, the, the J. Lynn developer. So if you want to, if you're here to discuss or talk about that, uh, wait until we allow them, the guests, to speak, and then you'll give, give you an opportunity to address that at that time. So if there's anyone else that wants to speak, I put a time limit of four minutes each person that wants to speak. So again, does anyone want to, someone want to speak? Yes, just state your name. I must admit, and I don't know who's responsible for it, but whether it was the or may have talked to the representative or not, uh, they did finally mow the bank. And uh, the next day, and they did a good job as far as that goes. They mowed it, and all in one day they got the other bank mowed. Nothing much of anything else on the side, it's just the front. And, uh, but they had a big piece of the equipment because. Uh, Months ago, they had three regular lawnmowers in there to mow it, and they must have ruined them because they only mowed a little bit, and then they stood up there and finagled a couple of things, and I don't know if they were having trouble a lot, but they took off and never gave it back. But um, this guy mowed the, the whole bank, and then he went and cut the cat and nine fields down in the swamp in front, and uh, he had a big, long knife, and it must have been awfully heavy because so he got those cat and nine tails down. He had to, he could only do about 10 feet, and then he was tired, he had a rest. But, and he was just a young kid. But I went over and talked to him, and he said, he said they were really bad. He was up to his knees in water. And uh, then I, he said he was the same one that mowed the bank the day before. And uh, I said, uh, what's it bumpy? He said, it's like plow, mowing the plow of the field. He said it was very bumpy. They didn't grade anything. Nothing is graded. And even when they mowed those weeds down on the bank back in August, it just let them lay. They were six feet high and they mowed them down. And it just let them lay. It just looks like a slum area. It's terrible. And I'd like to suggest if anybody knows the engineers or the excavators over there, if they would tell them to take a look at the acne. Uh, store in, in Lodgetown. That's landscape beautifully and they have banks. And they're really beautiful. And they keep it mowed nice and they have big trees. We also, they only have uh, deciduous trees on the south side of the substation now. And it only comes on oh, one or two in the front. And they promise to have them all across the front. And that would be beautiful because they're tall. And they would hide a lot. But they wouldn't really look nice. But uh, they stopped when they got down to the south side, and that was it. And they planted evergreens, and now they're coming along fine. They were, they were good. And they did them across the front. And they, and they had some something else in wires planted to it. Half of them were dead. Because I took a walk around the substation last Sunday. And uh, every, all around the substation is swamp. All around, they have ditches where they want, well, if the water, has, they have to find a place to let the water run, and it's all grown up with, uh, with weeds over six feet high. And it, it don't take an engineer or even an excavator long to figure 
about what to do with swamp and, and guiding water using pipes and then covered up and with ground and landscape. I mean, it, it's only common sense. But they're taking their good old time, and I don't know why. They've been operating for a year and a half now. Well, I think you know we've been trying to work with you and trying to put pressure on them, but they're still under their construction permit. So it's like um, they say they're not done yet. Oh, they're not done yet. So they still plan to do something about it? They, they, uh, I, I don't know, Levi, did we ever see a final plan on that? Levi's been in contact with them a number of times. I will say that it looked better than it did. They did I seem agree. to mow. But I'm not getting too late about it. Yeah, so well. <laughs> next year, and we're going to have the same thing all over again. It's going to be more. Yeah, a little bit more. I, um, I guess just have patience, and hopefully then come spring, they, they finish it up and they, they keep it nice next year. It's not going it's not going to grow much this year anymore. But, um, no, I understand yeah. that. Too, yeah. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I appreciate you coming out and sharing your comments, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, is there anyone else? <laughs> if not, we'll move on to our guest tonight. We have Jay Lynn, developer and the HOA of Maple Ridge North here. So. Jay King, Jay Lynn Developers. I am here on behalf of the developer and also the Homeowners Association. And I'm here to acknowledge Planning Commission recommended not to approve our dumpster, but we're here asking again that we can put dumpsters on the lower section for our people. So I know there's people here that want to talk about it, and I'm going to lean on Aaron quite a bit. He knows the people better than I do. I have the upper section, and I'm the developer. Aaron done all the building there, so. I'm here to plead on behalf of the association that we can do the dumpsters. And I do acknowledge the Planning Commission recommend it not to approve it, but I understand you guys can still help us with this. And do you understand why they didn't approve it? Do you remember why okay. they didn't approve All right. it? <clears throat> Ten years ago, this was not my thought, worried about the garbage. And I think Mr. Hoover has pointed out, it's actually on the print that it would have individual. But in the meantime, we have a tight association and there's provisions in there. So we choose to go with the community dumpsters versus the individual cans being in front of the house. And it's actually something written up that they aren't allowed to have them in front of the house or beside the house have 24 hours to have them out on the street, but we also envision how it's going to look when we have all the, on a windy day, the empty cans flying around. So. You understand the Planning Commission did not object to you using dumpsters. It was just not that location. They object to that location. So. Okay. And that's, that's why we have plans here. Um, we have a reason for being where we are. Uh, this is a full size, and here's a smaller one. Anybody that wants it, a smaller one. Uh, but we're central where it's at. It happens to be common ground, and then we are all intruding on your. Everybody from here over this block would use it. He yeah. doesn't need to have the dumpster up here. That's correct. Right. But when we choose to put it at that location, it is lined up right here. It's lined up with the street for the garbage truck to come down, get them front end loader. It's central for the people down below, and it's on common ground. And at Bart Zerby, who was a supervisor and a roadmaster at the time when this plan was working through the pro approval process, wanted to made you move stuff around so he had a place to put snow. That space wouldn't be vacant now. That space was created entirely for a, a place to put snow. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it otherwise it wouldn't be vacant. The, the earlier plans had houses right through there. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. I just want to make sure we're not here to tell you where to put it. And uh, Art Zerby's not here tonight, and 
he would love to have us uh, table this until he could be here because he was very instrumental in that process. He's very concerned about what you're going to do with the snow. And I say this to everyone out there. Imagine eight inches of snow. And the snow truck, the, the town snow piles go through there and they push all the snow. They open the road. Now you just come out and you have a four foot pile of snow in front of your vehicle, behind your vehicle. You're going to have to shovel that. And what are you going to do with it? Carry it through the house and put it in your backyard? You know, he said, there's got to be somewhere here that they can at least push some of it out of the way. And that's why he fought and argued to get that spot prepared so at least some of the snow can be pushed there. I don't know what you're going to do with your snow. This is a, a, a unique situation that he was, his, he was, had the vision to, to address it. I mean, he, he, he altered the plans, revised it, and created this spot where the, the snow can be pushed. And now it's like you want to um, take that away, <clears throat> and then what are you going to do with the snow? I mean, that's, that's, that whole thing was created for the snow. Now, township's not objecting you have a dumpster somewhere. It's just not that spot. So I understand we're far eight foot. Ten yeah, I, the uh, I think the right area is much wider than the forty foot blacktop for uh, snow removal. I think that's what we wanted to benefit from. I think yeah. I, I'm sure I think it's yeah. <clears throat> See, I don't think Art, Art realizes that, that uh, he didn't think that 40 and 50 would hold the entire snow bank in there. It, would, it, would, it could lead over into the, off the side. And, and the people that bought them properties, they knew there could they have a big pile of snow there. Yeah, I also remember him requesting gates here that he figures I'm bringing snow up here. So he has two places that he, he was showing, pushing straight ahead. I don't know where Gates approved on the plan. To, to They're put showing down. on there, yes. Okay. Well, I just want to make it clear. The Planning Commission did not object to you, you the, the development using dumpsters. It was they were objecting to you infringing upon that area there where the snow was supposed to go. With um, that, I would have a question because it's 40 foot and we're asking for less than 10 foot if I'm correct on that. I've got to be careful how I put that. But so how wide a gate, you know, right now I think you're going to find a, a 12 foot gate or something like that up at the other end. And that was planned for snow too. Have you exhausted any other possible places where you could put a dumpster? Have you talked to you? Who's your I just tried to explain why we picked what we did. I know, but you're piggybacking on the exact same reason Art convinced you to create that spot for the snow so they could come right in. And we feel that he still has 30 foot to do that. Well, I think I, I would ask the question too that <clears throat> what other alternatives are there within the. Uh, Subdivision the way it's designed, and the big, the big thing that limits it a lot would be the length of it. Uh, a garbage truck to be able to come straight on to empty the canister, and on a, on a, on the width of the street, it can't be done. <clears throat> so you know, the only other possible ways would be the coal sack, and then you're in the fridge and roll better in your pond. <clears throat> where the uh, truck would have direct access. That would be my, my opinion. I, I guess I looked at it some. With that, um, <coughs> I don't know. I hadn't thought about that. Well, well like I say, I, I'm, we're not here to tell you where to put the stuff. We're just telling you where, don't leave your lack of planning become a problem and destroy our planning process. <coughs> I guess I would simply ask the comment that yes. should be okay. looked at and talked about a bit. But yes. uh, I thought this comment would be appropriate. Uh, you have 
people that live there that 52 weeks out of the year have to deal with their trash in a convenient way, in a logical way. And then maybe about eight or 10 days a year, they have to deal with snow, so that's a little bit of a you know, problem. But I'm sure balancing the two things out, you can deal with it. So, I mean, some days, there's so much snow you want to go to work, you know. Uh, and if you have to push the snow up against the dumpsters and push them up against the you know. I'm just saying, there's got to be a compromise between the two just to say that this is for snow only and that's it. Because it's not, I don't think it's a good idea. Is there anyone else who wants to speak? Yes. If uh, you put the dumpsters in and they're there and uh, there's no removal crew comes in and, uh, and as they're pushing the snow, which can be very tedious at times, they hit one of those dumpsters and the damage to the truck and to the dumpster, who's going to be held liable for that? Who's going to take pay the damages uh, for their truck, which is uh, all, of our, all of us in the township? They just bought a new truck for $160,000. Now you say you're here for the homeowners, and I appreciate that. But the thing is, you own a lot over there. Why don't you utilize that lot at the end of that house that uh, you have, you're wanting to build on? Why don't you utilize that and have the dumpsters in there if you're here for the homeowners association? You have not done anything there yet. Well, everything would be on one side, and everybody would have a long distance to build and put their garbage. It's in the plans. You had the opportunity to put that in there. If you said 10 years ago, you didn't think about trash. That's what's wrong with developers. They come in, they don't think. You hire engineers, and you people do not think about what's going on for these people who are buying your product. That's the key. These people bought your product, and now they are taking the front of it, and now here they are against the township. And then you're putting residents against the township and making that board make a decision and making these people upset with the township board. And that's not right. That's my opinion. Are you a roadmaster? No, I'm not a roadmaster. But I have pushed snow. And it is difficult. That's why our Derby had that put there. I hope you can find a place for this dumpster, because I understand these people's legitimate claim, but it's not next to another person's residence either. It's not next to a person's residence. It's got to be set away from a residence, and you have a property that is away from residence. Do you own it? That's, we, we actually have property that's adjacent to the common property. And I think some of you are well aware of my concerns that I brought up. Um, I first got property unaware that there were going to be dumpsters placed there. I had the site plan that was revised in 2014 for Mr. Zerby. And all I was aware was that there was going to be paid for snow time, which I was perfectly okay with. The issue is the new revised plan that's been presented is only allowing for two dumpsters. Those dumpsters overflow. And it's insufficient. So two dumpsters is not sufficient to take care of that community on Cedarwood. I also paid a premium to be on the end unit. I didn't pay a premium to be the next door neighbor of dumpsters. I'm tired of cleaning up the mess. Residents are not placing their trash inside the dumpsters even when they're not full. I'm tired of cleaning it. I have picked up feces. I have picked up broken glass. I have picked up food. Dirty diapers. That's in addition to the overflowing with furniture, barbecues, patio items. Appliances. I have Why pictures. I have pictures of the course. I have even pictures now that I took yesterday and today. And they're concerned about people with having trash in front of their homes. People are leaving bags of trash outside your doors overnight. And that's with dumpsters. So they're not even placing the trash in dumpsters. And they're leaving plastic bags full of trash outside their houses. If we had individual pickup, at least it would be in, a, in a, uh, a, their own container that would not be exposed to the elements like a plastic bag. And I know the folks who live on the other side, at number, lot number seven, number 134 Cedarwood, 
the proposed dumpsters, I feel for those people, because the enclosure for the dumpsters is supposed to be two feet from their property line. So they're actually in a worse situation than I'm in with the, new, with the revised proposed plan. On uh, the board of the dumpsters, where they have them now, they don't have to stay there as long as there's a logical place to put them. The way my house is set up, I cannot have it outside trash. There's no place to put my cans. I'm not leaving them out in front of my house. I don't want garbage out in front of my house. I can't put them out back because I'm going through my neighbor's yards to put my cans down below. If it snows, I can't get my garbage up to the street. It's not possible. We have to have dumpsters. Now, whatever you guys work out amongst yourselves, you need to do that. There has to be a way to have dumpsters there to basically satisfy everybody. Sometimes garbage smells and there's nothing you can do about that. We all get that. But, but we have to, as cleanly as possible, dispose of our trash. There's going to be trash flying everywhere if we all have individual cans. Most of the people don't have, I think three people have garages to put the cans in. The rest of us have no place to put them. I understand where you're coming from, but the plan was presented to the township with individual garbage trash cans, and the township does not take a position whether it's individual garbage cans or dumpster. Had the plan been presented with dumpsters, and they would have picked a spot for it, it would have went through the planning process and worked out. This is like thrown in the last minute after everything's done. And in, and to your comments, Dave, I understand where you're uh, where you're coming from. But they're, they've been there. Dumpsters have been there. It's been a problem now. We've been dealing with this. <laughs> We've been dealing with a problem, with trash over the sides of the dumpsters. So it's like if we said, let's try and see how it works for two months. Well, they already been doing it for six months and it's failed. Um, there's, there's, you know, the garbage trucks don't pick up when they dump their bins. They just dump and what falls out just falls. And uh, it, plus, it seemed like it was way too much garbage for just two dumpsters. When they were under the construction process, I imagine the, the larger dumpsters were being used, and now that they're pulled out, now there's just not adequate, uh, adequate sized dumpsters. Is, is there anyone up? Yes. I haven't seen an issue since they put the second dumpster in. The only time they overflow is somebody who was far sure and all. Yeah. Well, that'll happen. You, you, you can't do that. I mean, that that'll happen. You know happen. what I mean? We have yeah. pictures of overflowing dumpsters on a regular basis. I don't have my trash in there in a couple of days. And the only time it's ever overflowing I see is when somebody throws a big piece of furniture in there. There's enough room if people don't throw a big item, yeah. take the big well, items to the landfill or whatever. That's the problem because people do leave their trash out there, even when there is room in the dumpster. It seems to be like a drive through dumpster. They just drive through, throw the trash out their car window, and drive off. They don't bother to get out of their car and put the trash in the dumpster. It's not everybody. We don't know who it is. But we see the same Chick-fil-A, uh, somebody likes Chick-fil-A there. There's always Chick-fil-A uh, cups and everything outside the dumpster. Okay, back there. Why can't we just fix that problem? Is there anything that we can do for people as far as, I wouldn't say punishment, but I mean it's illegal to litter, is it not? Why yeah. can't we go after that problem? They've been trying for the last six months to fix that problem. Is it, is this, is, isn't this the township, the people that put to the post that says $300 fine for littering? You guys, you, you get put on camera, you get found to be the one that's throwing trash outside this dumpster. You're the one that's getting fined. It's a posted, it's a posted. Well, is, that not, is that not a... So we find the person putting the dumpster there because it doesn't belong there? I thought you said that you, it doesn't matter where the dumpster goes, though. I know you said that there's snow, but they said it was 10 feet out of 40. It's a, it's a large space. Currently, currently, it's a large space. The, currently, the approved plans that are presented to the township do not have a dumpster in that location. So when they're put in there, they're basically in violation of their approved plans. As as he said, where would you put those dumpsters? 
I hate to use the word literally. Do you, do you want them in your yard? It's legitimately right in the middle yeah. of everyone. Yeah. It's perfect. Now, there is a cul de sac that maybe, I, I don't know if you can throw snow that way, but I'm pretty sure you could. It's easy to just throw snow on, at the end of the cul de sac over, I, I don't know if there's a problem with that, but I just don't. The there's snow. nowhere else to put that. We're going to have to put a dumpster trash cans in front of our house. I mean, I, I'm from Reading. I grew up uh, in Oprah Projects. I know what it looks like to have different style trash cans, different bags. You know, we're out here in, in Bowmansville, in Denver. There's going to be animals picking at this trash. That happens in the city. Now, go somewhere where there's, these animals live. They're there. It's going to be way worse than whatever you think is going on on these uh, these dumpsters. <clears throat> it's going to be way worse than what you think is going on now. Now you're going to have, on a windy day, that trash is going to be everywhere. I know what it looks like. I grew up in it. Now I move away from it. I work hard I, to move away from it. And now we have to put trash in front of our house again. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I, I just, there's, there's better ways for this. There's better ways for this. I obviously I know you guys personally, and I I feel somewhat personally involved because I did I enjoy voting, and I tried to do a good job of what I did, and I I'm torn apart to realize there's an issue here that we're trying to get our hand on, and I guess the question that's coming up to me is is if we're hearing what we're hearing. Are we at the point where we're saying let's look towards the continuation of the dumpster service somehow, but look at the whole project rather than zeroing in on this particular spot tonight? I think that's the direction the planning commission gave you two months ago. So this, I, that this spot was not they they rec they recommended this spot would not be the one used for dumpsters, and you would look at other alternatives, but. Here we are two months later, and it's still the same same issue. So that's uh, that's my thought again. I realized perhaps it was not taking this seriously as it should have been, or could have been. And uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm personally the one that requested dumpster uh, the, the community dumpster service after we got started with the first eight year because of what it looked like at the front door. <laughs> Um, and so that's why I guess I personally feel I have a strong opinion, if I can put it that way. And I realize those that are living there where it is, I, I think we maybe could have done better by going over it twice a month and seeing what that would look like. But we're out there, so that's why I'm asking the question if it's if tonight is decision time or if we should present something a month from now, and I realize um, the developer and the homeowners association got notice from the zoning officer of the violation, and it's definitely why uh, we're needing time of some sort. Any comments? Yeah, it, it seems to me like the dumpster would be the, the best option for the people that are living there. Out place to put their trash or going to have issues. Um, but it's going to probably take more than two dumpsters from some of the pictures I've seen. And I don't think that spot should be used if the initial plans were actually changed to make that spot uh, just for snow removal. So I don't think that's the right spot for it. And it might make it more on hand if it were out on that empty lot for the people in the back. But it's probably not a good lot for them on that back there or someplace. Uh, buy one of the houses back and then deal with the and deal with the lot and put it there. Yeah, but still keep it close to somebody's house. Yeah, yeah. well, that's the other thing. The people that bought the property on either side were not expecting to have a dumpster there and it's not fair to them to, to have one. When you look at plan developments, though, these dumpsters are 
cover. You know, you know what I mean? Like they're shielded oh, from people's view. They're enclosed. Yeah. Yeah. That I, when I saw these pictures, I was horrified because I've never seen planning like that before in my life. Well, I know. That's what <laughs> That's I'm saying. Why, yeah. I, the township did not it accept these no plans. Except, I, I understand that. So that's what I'm saying. It's poor planning on your part. If you're going to, you, you need to change location. You need to shield these houses. Absolutely. Because yeah. it's definitely, it's, 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 I would not even want to live in that neighborhood with these dumpsters, even in the location where they shouldn't be now. But it, when they're moved, they have to be shielded. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Well, that's all we're here to ask for. That's we held off because we wanted to put a container on. That's when I found out I'm in violation. You're in violation. You need to move the, the dumpsters because right now you're committing a salad violation. And every day you commit it's a $500 fine. You can also ask for attorney's fees once we prosecute this. So you need to move them because anyone that moved into this location doing their due diligence would have seen that these dumpsters were not to be placed in that location. So it's no fault of the township. So you need to move the dumpsters and you need to shield them. It's the bottom line. And I think what we're asking for though is we can remove those dumpsters tomorrow. But then you got 49 individuals that all of a sudden are cramming to do something with their trash. You need to put those dumpsters in another location that it, not that location, because you're in violation. The, the owners of those properties knew of this when they bought the houses because this plan was recorded. So anybody doing their due diligence would have known that those dumpsters were not to be at, this, at that location. There I ask the Harvey's a personal question. <laughs> if we're just looking for a small period of time to find a way, when I mean, you're next to it, it's been bothering you. And I think all of my comment is simply saying that I don't think you should put them on the spot. You've been served a notice from the township of violation. I've been communicating with them. They're, we're friends. We're not at each other. We're just I think we all usually want a solution to it. I don't think where it is now is the solution. I'm not completely averse to dumpsters. I do have a problem with it. The plan being only two dumpsters. And I have a problem with it being not purchasing a property and not being made aware that there was an eventual plan, whether it was approved or not, for dumpsters to be there. Well, I don't think it would be so bad if it, I, I wasn't around when the original plan came together, but the plan, it sounds like the plan were actually changed just to make that spot, the Correct. personal in it. Mm -hmm. and if that was important or to whoever pushed for that, I don't think it should be blocked in any way in that area. So. <coughs> You know, the original planning didn't have that, from what I understand. Right. It was all before we got our approvals. We had to create that. Right, but the original plan presented, it, it, you didn't have that. Yes. You, you just shut, shut this stuff office. around to, to get that open space there. How, see, who was, who's your um, landscape consultant or your land development consultant? Have you explored with them they can come up design another area. He's we had Stack House create this yeah. line for showing where the dumps were before he's there to the house. <coughs> you want to say can, like I live in the cul de sac, can, can they put him at the end of the cul de sac? The garbage truck can turn around in there. Well either way, like yeah, I, I don't care where they put them. Like I wouldn't mind if they were at the very end of the cul de sac or if there was a way for them to do it. Well, you got that's where the stormwater yeah. basin is. Well, and that is right there, yes. Yeah. 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 And that goes back to my original comment. I think we can throw ideas around here tonight. It's not going to probably get us anywhere, but I think my, again, my, my comment is that, yeah, I feel we're going to put a burden on the community, which we're, I am personally concerned with as well. And that's where I'm yeah. saying we can. I think my comment to the zoning officer directly was that if it's you know if this becomes a big issue, I would like to at least beg for a 30-day period or something for the homeowner's sake. You've had 60 days since the planning commission. <coughs> uh, pursue another avenue or um, something else. Um, but at this point, I think if you're not getting the drift. Is the township would like to, that area be reserved for snow? 
stockpile. It's not going to snow tomorrow. What is going to happen tomorrow is there's going to be trash bags everywhere. This should have been addressed six months ago. Don't punch us. I understand that, but what don't are we going to do? I don't see a blizzard coming we're, in. We're not, I mean, we're not the not one who brought, made this a problem. Yeah, but I got a place for my trash. Yeah. He, so you're saying that he has to take dumpsters out tomorrow? Is that what? I'm not saying anything. I'm saying he's been no, said that, that they're not supposed to be there. They can be somewhere else. Where? That's for them to decide. We're not, we didn't, we're not the developers of this property. So if we move them tomorrow and put them in another location, it's still a violation, right? You should just bleed, 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 don't you? But anyway. Now, my, my heart is for the best for the community. I'm just, uh, you can say we have 60 days to do it, but, you know, these guys all need individual service. Tomorrow we can notify. One comment that come up about the amount of dumpsters, we do have one option as the association that we can air eagle come twice a week, which would do a lot, plus it help you on your smell. Well, guys, use the, use the uh, dumpsters up in the apartment complex and have them come more often. I mean, I think there's, there's options here. did at first. There was no dumpster when I found Cedar Wood. When I first moved in, I was spraying the trash. So you drop them, you get those two dumpsters. And like the gentleman back there said, there's. We were told when we purchased the property that we were to use those dumpsters. And it's not adjacent to any homes, it's in the middle of the street. Well, I'm not sure. I'm obviously, I'm not saying what you want to hear. If you want us to table this until Park Survey comes back, but I'm sure you're not going to get what you want to hear either. Um, use a uh, Ask where the dumpsters can go. The gentleman back there said the uh, developer owns property. It could go on his property. And then, then work on a plan to, to screen them in. And
These children can't lift the lid. So the problem is that there's parents that are sending children to the dumpster and they can't lift the lid. So it's not purposely drive by trash. But there's kids that, you know, parents use their children to take trash to the, to the trash I, I, I agree with you. And in that case, it's the parents. And they should be taking the trash out of the Well, I would, I would be taking the trash out of the dad instead of me. Okay. As if I wasn't doing it. Okay, okay. I would appreciate that. Yeah, okay. It seems like a lot of the issues that you feel like are just causing care amongst adults is homeowner issues. And they need to have their homeowners association. Back on you, that's 
<laughs> and that's what we was portrayed to them two months ago at a planning commission meeting. That, that area was for the snow, not the track, not the dumpsters, but they just kept them there. Fine. Well, that's what the original plan is. That's what he's proposed. Probably when they just said something about me getting in the trash picked up twice a week. Why can't we just do something? Why can't we just do something in the time being while we're waiting for this blizzard to come to use that massive space for snow removal? Why can't we just do something until then? They just said, hey, why don't we just pick up the trash twice a week? Sure, but fix, figure it out. You got this long. I don't understand why we're pushing it right now because they had two months before. It doesn't matter. Tomorrow, we're going to be putting trash on our sidewalks, our brand new sidewalks. There's <coughs> nothing but green around us, so it's going to be paper, trash is going to be flying everywhere. They already said there's diaper genie bags everywhere. The animals are going to come through and devour that. You have a dumpster up in the other location. All right, but that, uh, all right. I, that's fine with me. I don't care. I can walk up there. I'm going to do that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We're going to do that. But that has to be picked up three, four times a week then. And we have to do something. Some HOA. Something has to be. But, yeah, right, you have to do something. That's an HOA issue. It's not a township issue to get the dumpster right. picked up. That's fine. Okay. So, but sanitation is an issue. That's is an that HOA really HOA? Issue. That's an sanitation HOA issue. in an area? You got it. So that sanitation in your township is an HOA problem? If if that sanitation is not picked up on a daily basis and that accumulation of trash goes outside the dumpsters and creates a nuisance issue, you're going to be sent a notice of violation. The HOA is going to be violated for that. When you say you're, you're, so, you're the speaking to the homeowners association, yes, will be sent a violation notice. You're responsible for that. Under the HOA. Amazing. Right. I guess what I'm hearing is we would plead for the end of the month, you know, that we don't have to remove the dumpsters immediately so that we can work this out. Because we feel, I'm sorry, I feel that the next step is the kind of contact Eagle get signed up for our service. I can tell you right now, I'm not doing that. I have no place to put my hands and I will not do it. Right. There is yeah. there is room for the developer. That's up to the developer to propose that. It's up to the developer to do that. 
Where's the empty lot at? I don't even know where that's at. Yeah, I want to see it too. This whole area right now. I'm 13. That's where I'm at. See, they can create an area like this. Oh, I'll probably the, I'll probably the, the mailboxes. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I don't care, guys. I just want to I don't want to talk to them. Right there they are. I still want to put my trash out front. Do you understand, yeah. no, sir, yes. that they're saying they're going to try to do private trash when they have an available have an area for a dumpster? That they don't want to pursue. So that's what right. you have to pursue with that. That they can pursue. Yeah. So you can make a motion. I'll make a motion in regards to the notice of violation that was issued that the township would not take action on that until October 31st, which would give the developer time to um, work with their engineer and develop an alternative place where they can put a dumpster and enclose it. Um, from view, screen it so it's not an objection to the community and, and, and all your residents to be there. I second. So the motion was made and second. Those in favor say aye. Uh -huh. Aye. Motion carries. <laughs> yes. Well, you prepare this plan and um, and you have to get to the end of October to remove those from that particular spot. Yeah. Thank you for your time. You bet. Thanks for coming out, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay. Do we have the minutes in our packet from last month? Yes. Talk to you later. All right. Is there no, are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? I read the minutes. I'm making a motion to accept them. Okay. Uh, there's a motion, and I second that. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. You have the bills from uh, we paid this month, and uh, we have the just the uh, new total. Yeah. Right. Right. No. Okay. Yeah. Are there any questions on the bills to be paid? What's a flail master? That's, That's a part yeah. of the flail millers along the road. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> blades. Okay. So we only order blades, blades. I think we just every two years, years or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. So we get a boatload, something like that. Okay, are there any other questions on the bills? Is there a motion to approve the bills? I'll make a motion that we approve the bills in the amount of $125,314.73. And I'll second that motion, so all those in favor say aye. Aye. <laughs> Okay, we have the Roadmaster's report. Is there anything you want to add? I, I was going to say, I think the um, discussion on the trucks, I think it looks good, but I think we ought to wait until we have a full board to discuss more of that parts back. You don't have to, don't have to make any decisions. I, I don't, uh, you know, just, you know, there is a wait time for each one. Yeah. It's like six months for the pickup, a year for the big truck, so I don't know if it is, but, you know, it's fine. I mean, I would like to have his input. Um, do you have any thoughts on that? I, I think we should wait till we're to you know, his input, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, are you looking?
looking for any thoughts on the bridge this time, or is that something we can also? Uh, I, I, yeah, I guess we can uh, wait on that. This is more uh, just so I know what the budget yeah. for for it, and I believe uh, if we are going to move on something, you know, I don't know how long the permitting process would take, but uh, the good road bridge, I don't know. I yeah, think you'll need a, look at that. You need a GP11 for that. Is that a you're replacing yeah. pipes? Yeah, GP11. Yeah, I don't know what. I mean, it could take a it could take a few months. A I don't few know what months. your timing. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what your timing is for that. No, but it's like I said, it's more for budgeting, and you know, and it's an next year project, so we can we. Well, also, I, I had a question on that too. When, yeah. When I saw that. Did, uh, did you ever think about getting somebody like Elvin or Small? Is it not a project we want to do or could do? Uh, I, I probably would look at that option. Um, like I said, this is this. What I have in here, I mean, the cost could change. I, I uh, whatever we decide to go with, I want to. If I do start getting estimates, I want to be able to tell the people this is what we want to do. You know, so. 